leaves roughly cut out from the bandsaw and the scroll saw. It looks pretty cool like this but obviously we want to add the detail in. So if you're going to do a carving like this what you need to do is you've got to mount it to something flat. You can't just hold it and carve or just put it on the table and carve because it might slip and you might cut yourself and also this you might not be able to see it's very delicate and bendy and if it's not you know mounted properly bits can chip out or your hand can slip and cut yourself again. So what you need is a piece of MDF is perfect but I'm going to use this sterling ball that will do just fine and two ways of mounting it is little dabs of wood glue or use a hot glue gun. I'm going to use a hot glue gun because I don't have the time for the wood glue to dry. So what I'm going to do is I have to do it pretty quickly but put some little dabs of glue And you're probably wondering how, to, how do you take this off? There's two ways, you can feed it through the bandsaw using the fence or to have a chisel and pry off each bit at a time.
So the table is now in my school workshop, which is really good because i got tons more space in my garage now. I'm just doing the finishing touches at school. I'm on a bit of a deadline because next week is going up for a exhibition. I'll try and film some videos of that because that might be quite cool, but, but I might not be able to, uh, so see how that goes. So thank you for watching how I did the carving on this table. I'm going to put a playlist on the screen now of all the other videos in this coffee table build series. And also add on the screen now a link to my last video where I did a 5,000 subscriber giveaway. There's still one more week to enter. I've got lots of cool tools and other prizes you can win, so uh, feel free to enter that. It's pretty easy. And yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like this video, and I'll see you in the next video.